And now, you know it from such tracks as Joy Division's Ice Age and something else, I imagine. Let's put our hands together for the Simmons Electronics Digital Claptrap! <laughs> yeah. So this is the Simmons Electronics Digital Claptrap. It's the third generation of clapping devices made by, effectively, Simmons. The first was the Musicade Claptrap, which was analog, followed by the Simmons Claptrap, also analog. And then finally, you have the Digital Claptrap. The Digital Claptrap is based around a digital sample of a clap. And that's basically it. It's got some, <laughs> has some triggering mechanisms and an audio output and a number of features. So let's take a quick look at those features. I'm going to first just look at the buttons on the top. We have the trigger, where you can just manually trigger it. Let's change the decay here. All right. You have a humanizer function. This doesn't do as much as you'd hope, but it, it does make it slightly less robotic. There's not that much of a difference there. Yeah, points to whoever identifies the real difference. And then finally, an auto-triggering mechanism if you want to make this just clap ceaselessly. I don't, I don't think it's gone enough yet. Yeah, okay. Now let's take a look at the front of the unit. We've got a few features here. All right, so working from right to left. First, on the far right, we have the volume. And then that next to it is the two noise sources. I'm sorry, the two sound sources. We have the clap sound and the noise sound. And then there's a balance between the two. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to turn it all the way to clap. Now let's turn it all the way to noise. First, let's take a look at noise. So noise, we can change the pitch. And we can change the decay on the pitch. Or on the noise. That's actually kind of cool. Now let's go all the way to clap. We have a decay again, and that sort of... What happens with the decay is it re-triggers each of the claps. So with a short decay, it starts to sound sort of okay. High upper pitch lower pitch, very low pitch. Let's change the decay so you can really hear it. Yeah. And then we have a knob for audio sensitivity. I'll show you that in just a little bit. And then a knob for the speed. So let's change our pitch here and decay to something a little bit more usable. Okay, that's it. I mean, there, there really aren't that many features, except there are other ways to trigger the unit. We'll take a look at that now. So I've hooked up a drum pad, and it's it's a rolling pad. I know. Sorry, Simmons folks. And you can use a drum pad or any piezo microphone to trigger it. And by adjusting the audio sensitivity, that knob on the front, we can actually adjust how sensitive it is. And let's change the decay. So that's not bad. So that's a useful thing if you've got an electronic drum set. Kind of nice to have one of these. I'll set the balance back a little bit, add some noise. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll add some reverb to that. And let's change the decay a bit. Yeah, not bad. All right. So that's one approach to use a drum pad. And when it says audio trigger input, you can actually sort of just use anything. 
um, which is pretty cool. So the audio trigger would allow you to use different uh, 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 noise sources to trigger the instrument. Let's take that out. And now let's take a look at hooking it up to a sequencer. So I'm just using this simple Korg SQ1 as my sequencer and just using the gate output to the synth trigger input. The disadvantage of that is that I'm going to get a consistent uh, attack, uh, which is kind of a little bit lame because it just means the clap is going to be exactly the same every single time. So if you use something that gives a, a, a different voltage for each of your triggers, then you can actually get some variation in the clapping. But I don't really care at the moment. So let's just add a couple claps here. Let's do that, and we'll do that, and we'll do that, and how about that? Yeah. So, so now we're getting a little bit more. Now let's add in, let's just go with a, a cheap little drum machine. Now I've added a Korg Volca Beats, just for a simple drum machine, and I've got a pattern that I've already added in here. It's really nothing very special. But when we add the clap trap, I think it does add something kind of nice. And we'll give it some reverb. And then finally, I'm going to add a pocket operator, just to show you how this can work within a mix, within a track with some other stuff going on. Because by itself, you know, there's not that much going on with the Claptrap just by itself. When you use it as a spice to add to your music, eh, then it's not so bad. the Simmons Electronics Digital Clap Trap. Yeah, it's a bit of a one-trick pony, or perhaps two tricks if you include the noise source, but it's something that you can use to add character to your music. You can add a human element with the clapping, or perhaps uh, reinforce your snare with the noise source. Either way, it's a pretty fun instrument. I kind of dig it. So, uh, that's it for the Simmons Electronics Digital Clap Trap! Simmons Digital Clap Trap!